Well, hello guys. Welcome to episode four of this Versus Four series, uh, a series where we are going, uh, or I am going up against seven other FM creators uh, and trying to come out on top. So we're in the first season of this uh, this competition uh, where I'm in a group of four with three other FM creators, top two creators come out of the group. As you can see, um, we're a fair way through. We're coming back for game day 30, which is the penultimate episode of this season. And we are going to be playing Palmer away. Now, you'll also notice that we have our first loss uh, of the season and we will go through what happened there uh, in a second apologies my mic my boom just fell down so I'm having to hold it which is a bit annoying anyway so let's have a look at the results as they've happened so far so we've played through the whole of February and March and things were going very very well with the last episode we played in uh, against Roma beat them 5-2 excellent results so then we went away to Genoa Beat them 4-0, very comfortable, uh, goals from Ronaldo, Quadrado and De Litt. Then we um, pretty much qualified ourselves for the cup final against Milan in the first leg, beat them 6-1, Quadrado, Ronaldo with a couple, Courier, Ramsey and Origi with a late goal, it was outstanding, really, really pleasing. Then we played Sassuolo and a bit of a squeaky bum, so a game we beat them 1-0 away, Ronaldo getting a late, late goal, trying everything, and it was from this, well, then we beat AZ Altmar, 6-1, uh, as you can see, fairly comfortable, a couple of goals from Origi, goals from Ronaldo, Ramsey, Higuain, and Bernadeschi, Ramsey's been really good, uh, and then beat uh, Inter 2-0, Good performance, Rabiot, Benedeschi, probably our best performance other than that Milan game, just really quite solid. And then after this, it's, it got a bit rubbish uh, in terms of the performances. So we beat, uh, drew with AZ Altmar at home. It didn't really matter. Goals from Origi, Rabiot, Bernadeschi. In all of these cases, we were um, we kind of rotated the team quite a lot. So you know Ronaldo in there. Then we played Spal. 1-0 win again, really, really late goal. Quadrado this time with a cracking strike from the right side. Really late goal. A bit worrying. I thought this was a fairly good result. Uh, it didn't matter at all, but a late goal from Ronaldo and it was a 1-1 draw away at Milan. I was pretty pleased with that considering it really didn't matter. But then the results continued to be a bit a bit rubbish uh, so yeah we qualified through uh, in, in Europe and went through to the second knockout phase against Bajitas uh, beat them 7-2 um, on aggregate and really good first leg game 5-1 and Origi getting a goal Rabio with a hat trick and then we sneaked through in the second leg that was, this wasn't particularly good but Origi and Higuain in the league you can see we we had a 1-0 win against Fiorentina a goal for a penalty from Cristiano Ronaldo uh, I think he got injured in this game I think it was this game he got in no it was in, in the Bajiktas game um, and it's not been particularly great for those three games while he's been out and this draw is loss against um, Calgary which is the loss we had we'll just have a look at the match stats because we dominated the game it was massively disappointing you see here 30 sh 36 shots to six um, 10 of them on target we were and we we kept getting highlights and they just all of them just slipping past the post it was really quite frustrating so then uh, we played uh, Udinese beat them 2-1 um, this was again as this is without Ronaldo in the team okay this this was I mean we went 2-0 two, two up Ramsey Higuain and they got one late back but it was again a little bit disappointing I didn't actually make a sub in that game interestingly and we're coming back here for the game against Palmer I'm a bit worried this is the best team we've played we have got Ronaldo back but we really are not making the most of our chances we're not creating as good a chances as we were I don't know why that is uh, but hopefully things can improve uh, today uh, we, we have real problems down the right side uh, we've got three right backs out injured <laughs> so uh, we've got I mean amazingly we have the capacity to play 
uh, to have a decent right back that we can play. But we do have Alexander on the left side. In we uh, Kalini is um, back on the bench. That's that's some news. And um, we've got Ronaldo alongside Origi. Hopefully they can do the business. I'm going to bring on Benedeschi because Korea has been a little bit crapper this. Uh, in, the, in, in recent time but we'll keep everything else the same as you can see Sandro has not been his usual effective self so uh, I don't know why that is either let us see what we can do with this because it's it's this one we could lose because we're just not playing well enough away from home really not playing well enough against Fiorentina that that result the one to win there that we were dreadful really not creative at all and I'm hope I'm, I mean that loss is going to be a bit of a problem. I should have shown you the league table. Let's show you the league table. Yeah, so this is where we are at the minute. 52 goal difference. That's not going to be good enough. But that loss, I think, is going to be the thing that does us. With the other two playing so well, it's um, yeah i need something to happen and and i guess given that we weren't scoring that many goals uh that that, that was always going to be an issue and it's always you know you can always get fm'd and that's not what i wanted to happen but it has so let's kick off and see what we can do here looks like the first highlight might be going to then no it's ronaldo into origi and origi misses is his early season form well with us has it's he's not as good anymore which is a disappointment i'm going to go on positive i feel i mean we have been finishing so many of those i think the big problem is daniello got injured i think it was in the game you saw and he's, he's been out he's pretty much out for the rest of the season and considering he's been pretty much my player of the season he's been outstanding other than ronaldo daniello has been awesome and to lose him is a big big blow but as you can see we are creating chances they haven't had a single shot but this is this about sums up what's going on. We we still dominate the games, but we're not seeing the chances. We're not creating quality chances or getting the ball in the back of the net. The shots from distance are no longer effective. And you can see seven shots on target. Not a single highlight. Well, we've got the ball on this right side. Descuglio, he's lost the ball. He is one of the poorest side players that we've got. Um, at full back we've got De Winter the youngster who is who's now had to come on the bench because we, amazingly with all our full backs we still don't have enough to cope with all the injuries we get in at full back but here's De Skiglio. can he be a match winner I doubt it very much but hopefully Pjanic De Skiglio, he's lost the ball again and the ball is long this time they've we've won it back and we go again, Pjanic, and it's back to this right side. Maybe we should focus on the left side a bit more because he doesn't seem capable of winning anything. Pjanic, it's gone in. After all my complaints, it's Sami Kadira from distance, and it's 1-0, and that is a goal and a half. I mean, you look at the match stats. First half, it's been a fairly dominant performance. I would love, I, I would love to get a bit of a smashing, to give a bit of a smashing to someone we've we've been good but here they come and we've we've been really susceptible to chances from the opposition i mean come on that that, that is awful he turned so slowly we should have got the ball back off him then They're causing us some consternation here and we've managed to clear it but it looks like they're going to get a chance again Skozolori, ball in, it's wide, that was a chance, the defence parted, they went through and should have finished that off, and that was a clear cut chance, must have been, show some passion guys, this is not good enough again, I mean how, we've got a tough end of season coming up, they weren't that bad, yeah, we'll go with that one, it's sort of they're, they're, they're kind of doing okay but not quite we've got an away game against Milan and the final game of the season that you guys will see is an away game against Atalanta 
Now the question is, are any of the two above us going to drop points? I don't know, is the answer to that. Right, get creative I think at this point. Done all right. I still feel we, you look at what we've got. I think, I think the change that we have to make here will be Rabio, who is who is very capable of a shot. Actually, Ramsey's done very, very well recently, but today is not his day. For some reason, Bonucci is nervous. I mean, you would not think Bonucci's capable of nerves, but you know, there he goes, being all nervous. And they are getting some chances. Oh, it's a chance for us. Pjanic. It's in, it's Ronaldo, and we've been missing a lot of those. This is one of the better performances we have given recently, and it's great that I can do that on camera. But chance straight from the kickoff. Are they going to pull it back? Uh, he looks, he's got a name I'm not even going to try and pronounce. And the header goes wide. And De Scigglio, he do, I don't really rate him very much. He's he's what he just hasn't done anything. Uh, we'll demand a bit more from him. See what we can get out of him. It's focused him, which is good. Another ball in Pinich, and it's Bernadeschi just wide. Right, we'll make make a late change. Where is he? Higuain. There we are. Divock is big. Divock Origi is going to come on. We're going to continue playing. Uh, Cristiano in that defensive line uh, playmaker position defensive line, it's not what he is defensive forward position or whatever it is he, he's he been doing quite well there since I moved him that's a terrible ball, I mean we should have finished it off but it's been a, it's been a dominant performance but um, you know, it's not over yet. We are very, very capable of screwing this up, and it's a great save from Chesney. The reason Buffon's not playing, he's made some mistakes, certainly in that 3-3 draw against AZ. He was dreadful, really, really showing his age. He's lost the ball again, this Skiglio. Dear me. I don't... I think the problem is he's not really a, bomb, a bombarding... Oh, oh, that's a goal. Everything I was saying from Higuain, I mean, that was one of the best I've seen him score. What an absolute corker. Well, we will watch that one again, I think, my friends. Look at this. The Skiggly after me criticising him hugely. Managed to get the ball back to Pjanic, and his passes are just awesome. And Higuain lets it bounce once. It just drifts into the uh, inside the post, and what a goal that was. And we will make one last change. Right at the end here. See what Coney, Coney De Vinter can do on this right side. He's not really a right-sided player. He's more of a left-sided player. But we'll give him the opportunity. This is this is great. I've, I've been wanting a win like this for ages. And I was worried that this Palmer game might be a defeat for us. But to get a win here and a comfortable one is awesome. So it looks like we're going to be sitting on 83 points by the end of this. Which will be good. We could get a clean sheet, that would be even better. Maybe tackle the bloke. No, no, it's fine. A couple of excellent strikes, some really good average ratings. Um, so that's that's all good. That is all good. Um, let's finish this off, just finish them off and uh, be done with it. Sorry, my dog's barking outside. <laughs> he's sad. I don't know why. He's well. I mean, he's not outside on his own. I should say he's, he's with the rest of the uh, the troops. But well, De Vinter, he wins the ball back. Could he do something? Could he prove to me he should be playing? No, <laughs> he can't. He can't. He's completely vacated that right back slot. Slot and. Um, given them a good opportunity to, to run forward so no that's not great and they put it over they've had some chances they have had some chances as well today we've not been that good defensively they keep getting the chances don't they and finally they put it in the back of the net but it's a bit late 
it is a bit like this looks like it's going to be it we're going to get a late chance Sammy Kadira Benadeshi I was going down the other way oh, it's through and cleared and that's got to be it that is it 3-1 win for the, uh, the zebras of Juve and a very very nice um, comfortable victory apart from the end of the game where I guess we just kind of ignored what was going on so we've qualified for the Champions League already I don't think we're far away from winning the league which is awesome I'm just a bit gutted that we lost the game and so we as I say we're coming back for our game against Atalanta we've got an Italian Cup final against Lazio we've got a uh, an away game against Milan in there and a home game against Lazio so some tough games and it's very nice to start that run with a win over Parma we also have a couple of games against Porto in the Euro Cup so we'll see how we do that right then guys well that is it for me um I'm I'm pleased with the results. I'm not pleased with the loss against Calgary. Um, it's up to you guys now to go over to check out the other creators who are involved in this. Links are all in the description to their channels and make sure you check out what they are up to. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I certainly have a look what's going on in Group B because it'll be very, very interesting to see whether Chasing Lamely or Avoiding Relegation have dropped any points as well. We, we've got our fingers crossed, but they've looked really, really good so far. Right then, guys, thank you very much for, for watching this. If you have enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you are new, and I will see you next time for the final versus uh, four episode of this uh, uh season one hopefully i will still be in with a shout of um qualifying for the second season but that loss is going to hurt me hugely thank you very much see you next time goodbye mm -hmm.